And we are joined, of course, now by that winner, Greg Duncan. Now, Greg, it's very special to take home a title for a team, but to take the one and the three meter finals, which is something that hasn't happened for your program since 1958, and you're a freshman. Really, how did you feel now that you can look back on that week? It's humbling, obviously. I can't thank my coaches, the training staff, my parents, my teammates enough for like believing in me and for where, or from where I started to where I am now, it's just a huge difference. So I'm very thankful, yeah. And from where you started, you came in with what could be stated as obvious, a good pedigree. It's why you came to UNC. How did you watch yourself change? Because this is your first year. This is a lot of first experiences on the college level. Yeah, so um, first semester for me was very hard. I, I got hit like a train basically, but um, you know, going from barely making any of my dives to coming in second semester, kind of knowing the schedule and kind of getting into rhythm, it's really changed my diving and like my overall um, like mindset. So it's amazing, yeah. You'll see with a lot of athletes that have been competing as you have since you were 12, they say that the one thing that kind of keeps them going is because no matter what venue you are and what level you acclimate to, it's still the same. You're still going off of, you know, a springboard or a platform at that same level. Do you think that speaks to your training? Yeah, I mean, you do it so many times in practice that hopefully if you're able to turn your brain off for the meet, you just go and do what you're used to doing. So. Now, how different was it for you to adjust to the fact that you were coming in that first week to do all of the diving at once? Now you kind of get to sit back and watch the rest of your male counterparts swim. It, I, I've, we've done, the diving has already done their work, so now it's time to just support the rest of our team since they came and showed us support. So it's just, it's a lot more relaxing, but it's also nerve wracking at the same time, so. We got to talk to your head coach who originally said that you were, you know, back, you were fully into classes. How do you make that transition as the student athlete to be on the road and then have to go back and fully commit to school again? I mean, you just have to stay on top of everything, like really efficiently with your professors and all, you know, all the work you had to do. Luckily for me, um, I didn't have that much work when we came back. It was while we were gone that I had a lot. So it just depends on the person, but being able to manage everything efficiently is super important. Well, now you get to kick back, and the best part is you get to watch these guys, and it, the pressure's off of you. You've come and done your part, Greg, again. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you so much. All right, guys. Oh, yeah. And again, from the Greensboro Huge Aquatic Center here in Greensboro, Huge North Jeff. Carolina, we will be right back for ACC Men's Swimming.